Hi there, and let's run some WordPress on the newest .NET version 9. Start with creating a new ASP.NET Core project in the current folder. Here it is. And the only thing you need to do is add a reference to package called peachpite.wordpress.asp.net core. This command adds a reference to the latest stable version of the package. In this case, it's 662, I guess. You can verify it right in the project file in here. Package reference, peachpite wordpress sp.net core 662. This package contains all the WordPress version 662 compiled to .NET assemblies. So there is no PHP source code and it's all compiled using a PeachPy compiler. The next thing you need to do is add the WordPress into your ASP.NET Core request pipeline in here and add some services needed to run the WordPress in here. This command also has an optional argument where you can specify additional like PHP constants, database host, name, password, and other things. The last thing is to run your SQL database. I don't have my SQL database, so I'm using Docker for it. So this command runs a uh, MySQL container for me with password, password, and initial database called WordPress. Here it is. And we also need to specify the password in here. The other options are by default the same like localhost, the port number, and the database name are all right. We can specify it in here as well, the name. All right, so that's it. We can command this line out and run the project. After restoring, project compiles also almost immediately and we can see the address of our project in here. So let's switch to the browser and try the URL in here. Loading, loading, and here it is your WordPress on .NET from a NuGet package. That's it. Uh, we can switch back to the console. You can see some output logging in here. There's some warnings and stuff, but no worries, these are, these are right, they are expected. And anyways, in the next video, we can take a look on how to migrate uh, your existing WordPress installation from PHP to .NET, how to install plugins, and how to install themes and debug the whole application in .NET using Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.